campsite. We actually came out with a few members from Natural Training Center and we came out and combined a few of our passions as far as the outdoors and the love for the outdoors and camping and of course fitness. Um, so what we have here behind me um, that you saw in the intro is me uh, lashing basically a pole to two trees. Um, we try to abide by leaving no trace so this is basically just for demonstration purposes um, that we kind of rigged this up and show you a little bit about suspension training and how we do it out here. Um, but at the same time, we have to work with what we have. We don't want to cut down any trees, anything like that. So we just did a basic mock mock-up over here on our campsite, just to give you an idea of uh, versatility that you could have with suspension training, no matter where you are. Okay. Uh, basically, all I did is I had some some rope, uh, some climbing rope that we had, and um, basically found a nice uh, sturdy log that you know wouldn't break or wouldn't be brittle. So it was obviously it hasn't fallen too long. It's still a little green, but once again, we didn't cut it down. You know, always want to abide by the leave no trace. Um, so we found that, ended up uh, using just two square lashings, putting it up on a tree, giving us a pretty steady pull uh, as far as a horizontal bar, which is kind of hard to find in nature. Um, and especially when you don't want to cut down trees or do anything like that and respect everything that you, you know, that you find. And this is easy to take apart and put everything back where we left it and take our rope with us and we're good to go. Um, the, a lot of, a lot of the uh, suspension training right now is very popular, um, say the least. I mean, you just punch it up on YouTube and there are many different methods and everybody uh, pitching their own sus suspension system and they're all pretty good you know they're pretty expensive but they're all you know they all have its purpose and, and do their job um, what we're going to show you here is basically the minimalist way to do it which is obviously utilizing rope that we have utilizing uh, nature and <clears throat> showing you basically how simple it is okay so what i have here is some other rope that we had in our pack that's maybe uh i don't know three four feet long okay very simple i'm just going to tie a basic square knot so uh, once again, I don't want to break that down and show you how to do that. So I'll do that on both uh, of these small ropes here. Bear with me a minute. So fairly simple, okay? Square knots, two ropes, basically have two circles, okay? So once again, this is for demonstration purposes only. You know, ultimately, we would ideally would want it to be a lot higher, uh, so on and so forth. But once again, this is just for a quick demonstration. Um, to show you guys how to really just rig stuff out on your own, no matter where you are, okay? So all I'm gonna do is take one of the ropes, fold it into a circle. Now you have two bites on the rope, okay? That gives you a little bit better grip. Uh, it's a lot easier on your hands as far as the pressure, you know, as opposed to just having one rope, okay? Uh, once again, we're not gonna get fancy with this. You could use shirts, use other things for padding. Um, but, you know, the more you get used to doing it, the more you can just go ahead and just utilize rope. Um, ideally, you'd probably want even thicker rope, but once again, we're using what we have and uh, keeping with the minimalist way of thinking. Once again, I'm gonna do the same thing here with this rope, put them both here, grab both bites, okay? As you can tell, you can hold me, I can pull up, pull back down, and there you have it. Suspension training, field expedient-wise, in the woods with Natural Training Center.